Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, we are going to learn the Streamlit API. And at the end of the series, we are going to build and deploy two machine learning projects implementing what we could have covered during the course. This series requires basic knowledge of Python programming language. And if you had never developed a web front end, this series will take you step by step in the implementation of this API to enhance you in delivering fully developed apps. Please share, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your bell icon so that you will be notified as soon as we upload new content. Let's start. So these are the contents we you will cover in this series. Number one, introduction to Streamlit. Number two, we will learn about magic commands in Streamlit. Number three, displaying test in Streamlit, followed by displaying data in Streamlit. Then after learning to display the data, we will learn how to display the charts and visualizations from the data. We will import and display media in Streamlit. We will display interactive widgets as well. We will then learn about the control flow. And then we will learn how to add widgets to the sidebar. We will learn the basic layout of our application. Then we will learn how to implement to display code. And then we will learn also how to display progress and status. Then we will learn about place orders, the YAL functions and the options. We will learn about how we mutate data. And lastly, we will learn about performance optimization in Streamlit. After we could have covered all these steps, and all this series right we'll continue on to develop two end of series projects number one which will be a classification project in machine learning and so as a regression project in machine learning implementing all that we could have covered during the course from the previous slide so what is streamlit streamlit is an open source python library that makes it easy to create and share beautiful custom-made web applications for machine learning and data science. In just a few steps, you can build and deploy powerful data apps, so we will start by installing Streamlit on our machines. The command to install Streamlit uh, is pip install Streamlit and we'll run the command. Please bear in mind that Streamlit only supports Python version 3.6 to 3.8. We'll wait for the installation to complete. So the installation will take time depending on your internet speed. Mine is finished and it's saying requirement already satisfied because I already installed Streamlit. So let us read a script and run for the first time our Streamlit application. Okay, so you create a folder, you create test file.py. We start by importing Streamlit as sg. Right. So we say sg.title Streamlit API Code Implementation. We save. So in order to run our file, we need to cd uh, in command line. So open our current working folder in the terminal. Okay, so we navigate to the working directory of our project, which is in this path. And we type cmd to open our command prompt and press enter. We have opened our directory in the streamly tutorial folder. So we proceed to type streamlit run the name of our file test.py and press enter to execute our command. So for those who are running this for their first time, you will be prompted to enter your email address and activate it. But if you're running it for the second time, you won't be asked to enter your email address. So the survey has been started and it exists over via our local URL which is the local host via port 8501 or you can use your network which is the IP address of your machine through the port which is still the same 8501 so we open this address, address in our browser please note that default browser is opened automatically as soon as the server is started we're accessing the browser via local host through port 8501 
If you want to access this same web application from your mobile device or from any other computer on the same network as you are, you just type the IP address of the that is running the server through port 8501. You'll be able to see the application. As you can see from our browser tab, our code has managed to run successfully. Streamlit API code implementation title has been displayed, which we have written in our code. So guys, this is it for introduction. Let us do a recap on what we have just covered in the introduction. We have managed to install Streamlit. We have managed to write our first script to display a title text in the browser. We have learned how to execute and run Streamlit on our local machines. Seen how we are able to access, we have seen how we are able to access the script in the front end of the web application rendering via the API of Streamlit. So this is it for the introduction. See you in the next topic.